Hey guys, so I um, just got my um, set of uh, Fastway foot pegs, uh, the Adventure uh, Fastway foot pegs um, from uh, Promoto Billet, and I already um, installed the left side. And before I installed the, the other side, I decided to I'll do a quick uh, a quick video because there's a couple things I wish I had known before um, starting this. So this is the um, the right side. I already installed the left side, and um, it comes in here um, with um, a fit kit. Um, the fit kit is specific to the bike, so you get um, pretty much all the all the parts that you need. Um, you're gonna end up with one set of cleats because there's they provide two different lengths. I think one, the short ones are 10 mil, and a set of 12 mil. When I open the bag, these uh, cleats um, started um, rolling all over the place. My workbench is not totally uh, level, so I was going to lose half of them. So if you have a magnet handy, um, that'll help you keep the, um, those cleats together and uh, not lose any of them. So that's a good thing to know. Another thing that um, I learned is they have that little sticker there with the a PMB howto.com website. Um, that's supposed to provide installation instructions. Um, when I tried to open that link, it was not a valid link, so that didn't work. Maybe it's something they haven't put together yet. So, in any case, I just went to our YouTube and um, you'll find um, some videos there. If that link doesn't work for you, you're not the only one. The first thing um, when you get the, the pegs is to decide whether you want to um, run them in uh, low position. That means the um, the pin here is um, basically on top, or the high position. It's a press fit, so then you have to press it in. Um, one of the main reasons um, I got I got those pegs is to be able to lower the pegs. So I'm gonna put um, this on top here, and um, you're supposed to use a vise or something to press it in. They also provide a little tool um, that's used for, let's say you change your mind, you run them in the low position and you decide, no, I'd rather run them in the high position. Um, basically, you can just press the uh, that thing out using that tool and you can also use it to press it in, which is what I'm about to do. So that's the first thing to do. And I'm going to do that right now. Going to the vise. And basically all you need to do is press, press it in. So um, my vise is a little tricky because I haven't fully... It's not fixed to the workbench yet. So it moves around. Um, I just can't decide exactly where I want to put the vise. <coughs> once you drill in the workbench it's kind of permanent so okay so it's all the way in and so it's ready for the high position the second thing that you need to decide is what kind of um, camber you're gonna run uh, I've already tried on the other side. Um, they provide a number of shims. There's just washers of um, two different thickness. There's two, I'd say, thicker ones and two thinner ones. And uh, I like the having two shims, one thin, one thick, on the other side. One thing I want to know as well is um, to install the cleats, they provide that little cheap um, Allen key. Um, if you have T-handle or better, 
uh, the size that you will need is 2.5 um, and for the camber bolt with the shims uh, it's a 5 so I'm gonna put a they also provide some red Loctite so I'm gonna put just a, a drop on there there and put it in right here It's easier to do um, before you put the shims in because to hold the peg, the shims are going to hurt your hand. Um, another thing is um, there's two springs that came with this. I found them a little bit tricky. I, do, I guess it depends on the bike, but uh, the end is a little bent there and it's supposed to go in there like so. When I installed the um, the left side, and I'll show you that in a moment, the spring backs out, not all the way, but even if I push it back in, as soon as I move the peg, it backs out. So I tried to bend this, it was a 90 degree, to bend it in. We'll see if that helps. I'll probably make the installation harder. But if that keeps the, the spring in, I'd rather do that. So let me show you real quick what um, the problem is on the on the left side. If you don't, if you keep the the 90 degree angle on that spring, here's the peg on my 1190 or on the left side, and <clears throat> so it's already installed the shims and everything. So the only problem I have, like I was mentioning, is see the spring here backs out, and if I push it in, I did with the pliers, and it goes in, but then as soon as I move the peg, it backs out. So looking at the angle, that's why I decided to bend it in for the other side to see if that helps. So we'll see. So now I'm ready to. Put the shims in, uh, not the shims, the cleats. To put the cleats in, um, and I'm going to use my 2.5 uh, T handle and put a drop of red Loctite on each one of them. So that'll take a that'll take a bit of time. I only put the Loctite at the end because obviously they don't screw all the way in so the the part that exposed doesn't need the Loctite here's one on to the second one So here we are, um, all the cleats are in. I didn't um, do anything fancy with the cleats, like put uh, different lengths and or anything like that. Um, I used the 12, the longest ones, the 12 mil cleats and um, it looks like they provide two extra. So that's the good news, in case you lose one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that. Uh, two extra cleats, one per peg, I guess. So now it's ready to um, be installed on the bike. 
I'll need this obviously. I'll need the cutter pin. And to close this. And on to the bike. So as you can see the um the stock bag is in the there's no high or low position, it's uh the spring is in the center. So it's a little a little different. So first thing is I need to remove the cutter pin. Okay, so I bent it straight. So now it's um we'll see if I'm lucky and if it will will wanna come out easy or not. Okay, it's about to come out Need to make sure I don't lose the the washer. Got the washer up. I'm gonna use a something to push out. Of course, it goes straight into the brake pedal. So it's a little bit easier on the other side. Don't tell me I have to remove the brake pedal, please. Okay, that's a bummer. So, um, here we are. I didn't know that um, I was going to have that problem with the brake pedal in the way here. Um, to remove it, or you need to remove this, which is a bummer. Okay, so for the right side, this is the issue I'm uh, running into. The pin right here first was hitting the the brake pedal by pulling it a little bit I gave it enough clearance that it went behind it but now as you may be able to see here uh, it's again the pin out I can't because it's hitting the the engine case the clutch side so only will have to remove this remove the brake pedal which sucks but it is what it is. So if you have the same issue, I'll um, try to document that as well. Okay, so <clears throat> what I did is I loosened um, the brake pedal, the bolt, enough so that I could pull the pin out and um, what I had to use is on this side a T45 and the bolt uh, behind uh, is a seems to be a 13. So now I have the old bag out. Here's a quick uh, comparison. Not, not a big weight difference. The height is really what I was looking for. Um, the cleats are also a bit more aggressive. So, this is the stock peg, stock spring. Here's the new peg, the new spring, the cutter pin, and
and obviously I'll need the, the pen here. I'll put a little bit of grease on it. And not just the washer. So since I have the since I have the peg out, one thing I like to do is make sure those bolts that you cannot access when the peg is in. Just make sure they're tight. Might as well. They were tight on the other side, so there's no reason to think that uh, wouldn't be the case here. Yeah, pretty tight. Yep. Don't go crazy. No stripping bolts. Okay, so now the tricky part is going to be that bent spring on here, see how that's going to work out. Okay, so after wrestling with it, I was able to insert the pin. Yeah, I'm winded. <laughs> after fighting with it for a few minutes, um, the pin is not all the way in, but I was able to hook the spring there. It's still in the bag there. So, I hope that uh, that works out. Boom, it's in. Now the moment of truth is, yeah, so it stays in. The spring is not coming out. So that's great. Now all I have to do is put the washer, the cutter spring, um, the color pin behind reattach well tighten my brake pedal put the frame guard on and then go to the other side and I guess take everything out bend the spring this way like I did on this one so that so that it doesn't come out and put everything back together so there you there you have it and here's the uh, kind of the angle with the the shims, the camber, um, one thick washer and one thin washer is what looked um, all right to me. So now it's going to be a um, test this and see how how it feels, how I like it. But uh, I like the way it looks. There you go, uh, Fastway Adventure Pegs on a KTM Adventure 1190R Adventure. And now we are um, on the other side and I was able to get the, get the peg out and uh, the pin and the spring and bend, bend the spring. I have to bend it, this one a little bit as well. Um, but I just uh, reinstalled the inserted the pin under, and now I have my cutter pin and my washer. And as you can see, the, um, the spring stays in the bag here. So I would call that a success. So thanks for watching.